What's up guys, Ruski Tech here, and welcome back to another tech review. I make tech reviews weekly, and if you're new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. In this video, we're going to be checking out a device that gives you unlimited macro keys. The Elgato Stream Deck is a 15 key keypad with an LCD screen as each key. Inside the box, we find the Stream Deck and the user guide. I really like the presentation and how it's all set up inside when you first open it up. The Stream Deck is thin and small, which adds to how nice it looks. Underneath the Stream Deck is the adjustable stand, which lets you choose the angle the Stream Deck sits up on. If you want it laying flat, then you can go without the stand. The 15 LCD keys really eliminates the need to map out your hotkeys or even memorize them. This really streamlines your workflow and your projects. The Stream Deck integrates with Elgato Game Capture, OBS, Streamlabs, YouTube, Twitter, and even Twitch. This device is really advertised for streamers that use YouTube or Twitch for streaming. With the Stream Deck, you're able to change between different scenes, start or stop recording, and even tweet out there you going live soon with just the push of a button. The Elgato Stream Deck can also be used by non-streamers like me. Here I'm going to show you guys the software and how the Stream Deck can be used. When you first open up the Stream Deck application, you will be greeted with the right side full of actions that you can use. These are the different integrations and macros that you can assign out to the buttons. I set up the bottom row to be my social medias that I use, and if I click on one of them, then it will automatically go to that website. This action will be under System and then Website. One of the things I love about the software is that most of it is just drag and drop. You can drag your actions and you can even drag a picture to set up as an icon. I haven't set up all my buttons yet, but here's one that I might use. This will tweet out a message once the button is pushed. You can also create your own icon with Elgato's key creator. This lets you customize preset keys and if you want your own custom key then you can import a file and play around with that picture too. I set up a button to change profiles for me and that other profile I set up is my YouTube logo as the background. I'll mostly use this profile for aesthetic purposes and when I won't be using the Elgato Stream Deck in that specific moment. It's also super easy to go back to your other profiles too. You just have to set up a button to switch profiles. An update that everyone seems to enjoy is the integration of GIFs as icons. This will replace your icon that you use with a GIF. Another big update that got released recently is that you can set up folders on the Stream Deck. This lets you use more macros than before. For someone that uses lots and lots of macros, this can be very helpful, especially since you can also put folders inside of folders for unlimited macros. As I mentioned earlier, the Elgato Stream Deck doesn't have to be used by a streamer. It can be used by video editors to set up hotkeys for cutting clips or adding effects, or even by graphic designers to set up macros for Photoshop and Illustrator. There are endless possibilities with how this device can be used. The major thing that throws people off is the price point of $150. A lot of people argue that you can just buy another keyboard for cheaper and set up each key as its own hotkey or macro, but honestly, that's super tedious and not worth your time. You can probably be streaming in that time and get more followers. $150 is definitely worth it, especially when you can set up folders inside of folders and give you more macros than a keys on a keyboard. If you are someone that uses macros or want to start getting into using macros, then I highly recommend the Elgato Stream Deck. This will make macros super easy to use and finishing projects will be faster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, then subscribe. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace out.